Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and uh, we'll take our discussion forward related to performance characteristics of measurement systems or uh, instruments. So, so far we have discussed various performance characteristics, the static characteristics uh, beginning with accuracy, error, uh, then we discussed about uh, sensitivity, precision, resolution, uh, uh, sorry, uh, repeatability, reproducibility, then about uh, sensitivity, then linearity. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another uh, static characteristic, static performance characteristic, which is related to the input-output relationship uh, of uh, the instrument or the measuring system which is called as drift okay so drift here again is the static characteristic which remains constant over a period of time or it uh, changes very slowly with respect to time so before discussing drift we have to as we as we are discussing about input and output relationship we have to touch upon the concept of sensitivity which we have already discussed so sensitivity basically means the ratio between output to input or the change in output brought about by a certain change in input and this input output relationship curve is called as calibration curve or input output relationship curve simply so it can be linear it can be non-linear and uh, the sensitivity is calculated by determining the slope of the curve at various points so drift where does drift come into play so whenever there is an undesired shift gradual shift in this input output relationship curve from its predefined or predicted you know uh, trajectory whenever there is any departure any deviation from that we call it as drift okay any undesired change from the predicted uh, behavior or predicted input output relationship curve be it linear or non-linear but mostly we'll stick to linear just to make the make things simple okay so we'll stick with linear input output release uh, relationship curve or calibration curve and any deviation from this behavior we will call it as drift so this shift actually is not related to the changes in input the operating conditions or anything related to the measuring system starting from the sensing block to the signal processing block or uh, analysis or any other additional circuitry or load characteristics and uh, we desire that the system the ideal condition is that there should be no drift no deviation from the predicted or ideal input output relationship curve okay so what happens that the classification of drift the various kinds of drift that occur in a measurement system they are zero drift span drift and zonal drift okay first let us uh, see the condition of no drift which is the ideal situation so here let us say this is the uh, this is the input output relationship curve or the calibration curve which we want this is the ideal thing okay a linear input output relationship curve this is the condition of no drift in the measurement system so first is zero drift 
So in zero drift what happens is that the whole of this input output relationship curve it fluctuates or it shifts by a fixed amount it shifts by a fixed amount a constant amount something like this so here as you can see this whole input output relationship curve this is the ideal thing this is the ideal thing this is the actual So here you can see the whole input output relationship curve it has shifted by this much amount this this is called as zero drift okay the whole of the input output relationship curve the blue one which is the ideal one it has shifted by this constant amount this is called as zero drift obviously this will give rise to error in uh, the output readings because the whole of the output you know uh, the values of the measured parameter it will be uh, you know there will be error by a constant amount a constant error will always be there because of this uh, upward shift or the shift by a constant amount then we have span drift so in span drift what happens is that as the input increases the relationship curve the calibration curve it increases or decreases proportional to that change in input or increase in input okay so in a way it is related to the sensitivity the output to input ratio okay so it can either increase or decrease one of the condition is this so here in this uh, span drift or sensitivity drift this is the ideal situation the ideal input or desired input output relationship curve this is the actual one so here as, as you can see as the input is increasing this ideal uh, input output relationship curve it is moving like this okay it is moving in this direction the other thing can also happen that this can move in the other direction like this okay as input is increasing okay both things can happen here i have just shown one of the things where it is moving in the other direction okay so this is called as sensitivity drift or span drift where as the input is increasing the input output relationship curve it changes or it shifts in one particular direction not by a constant amount by certain we can say let's say by a certain degrees it is rotating kind of you know in either direction increasing or decreasing okay this will again cause fluctuations error in the output readings okay so this is called as sensitivity drift then we have zonal drift so in zonal drift as the name suggests in a specific portion a certain region of the input output relationship curve uh, experiences drift or uh, deviation or fluctuation so here the portion which experiences fluctuation or drift is this this portion this portion of the ideal input output relationship curve this region or portion experiences or zone of the ideal input output relationship curve experiences drift that's why it is called as zonal drift and then we have combined drift which in which all the three kinds of drift are there see there is zero drift because it is shifted by some constant amount at the start then it is moving in one particular direction as the input is increasing it is rotating in one direction in one side to one side and then there is zonal drift also because this much portion is experience experiencing zonal drift 
okay so all three kinds of drift is present here so this is combined drift the next question is why uh, drift or what are the causes of drift in a measuring system why drift happens this uh, fluctuation or deviation happens there are various reasons uh, because of environmental conditions changes temperature pressure changes wear and tear prolonged use then mechanical vibrations uh, again high mechanical stress because of prolonged use long term use uh, aging of components then because of stray electric and magnetic fields when it uh, when electrical or electronic or electromechanical systems are used then thermal emfs so there are a lot of reasons why this uh, deviation or fluctuation in the ideal input output relationship curve happens so the ways or the only way to check for drift in an instrument is that to consistently monitor to check the input output relationship whether it is uh, you know calibrated correctly or not it is giving the correct results or not okay continuous checking uh, is very important to first you know uh, diagnose this condition whether drift is there and then to eliminate its undesired effects because then there will be certain corrections that have to be done depending on the type of drift uh, which has been uh, you know which is seen or this uh, particular measuring system is experiencing whether it is zero drift or span drift or zonal drift depending on that certain corrective measures have to be taken so here this is an important concept related to input output relationship of a measuring system and one of the important performance characteristics static performance characteristics so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much